paghi a fare, ma sono ammalato di te, mamma mia. Oh, what the guy say? I don't think I want to know. I'm glad my French is better than my Italian. What Italian? Oh, very funny. It's over there, come on. The special train, Orient Express, direct to Paris and London, is now boarding at platform 2. Merci, monsieur. Bonjour, madame. Hi. May I see your tickets, please? Here we are. Merci, and welcome to the Orient Express. Julianne. Right, ladies. Do you care to follow me? Here we are, ladies. You'll be in this car, the Julianne. Favorite carriage of Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. And the present Queen, of course. The special train, Orient Express, direct to Paris and London. Here we are, Miss Parker and Miss Lawson. You'll be right next door. Please let any of us know if there's anything you want. Anything at all. I'm going to go change. Okay, listen, now, why don't you get settled and then come and get me? We'll go have some lunch. Okay. La chiamata finale. Dell'Orient Express a Parigi e Londra e a binario 2. Final call for boarding of the Orient Express to Paris and London at platform 2. Oui, madame. Je vous assure, il n'y a pas de problème avec les bagages. Il y a beaucoup de place? Il y a beaucoup de place. Avec... Parlez anglais. Oui, monsieur. Pardon. Excuse. How may I help you? Well, actually, I need some help in locating someone. Um, I'd like to surprise this person on the train, but I must know for sure that she is on the train. Uh, I am so sorry, monsieur, but it is against the policy. Uh, but this is a special occasion, you see. It's my mother I'm looking for. It's her birthday. Uh, I was to meet her in Paris, but um, I was able to get away sooner. And I would so like to surprise her. Monsieur. Voilà. Thank you. Oui, madame. Le train va partir. Oui, monsieur. Le train va partir. What do you think? It's fabulous. These cars are so beautiful. Cabins, my dear. Or carriages. Remember the uh, Queen Mum that's left here? Oh, yes. It's a little too much for me, I've got to tell you. I mean, what is a girl like me doing on the Orient Express? I hope I've made a mistake. What do you mean? Well, it's just so extravagant. We could have been in Paris in two hours by plane. Lily, we're supposed to be on our vacation. <laughs> and it's not every day you're made managing editor of a major magazine. And if it's good enough for the Queen Mother, honey, it's good enough for you. <laughs> Besides, uh, all work and no play makes Jill a very dull girl. Yes, yes, I know, but this Jill is a lot happier working than playing. Lily, the train has hardly left the station. Will you lighten up? Okay, okay, I'll try. Besides, I think uh, trains are very romantic. Oh, you do, do you? If you ask me, we could both use a little romance in our lives.
Uh, excuse me, we were wondering, are, are those seats taken? Nobody's sitting there. Great. Lily? Hello? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just thinking about the last time I was on a train. Hmm. Must have been some trip. Recently? A lifetime ago. Oh, no, no, no. Don't take my picture. No, come on, don't worry. It's not for the magazine. It's for my scrapbook. Never been to Europe before, remember? Say cheese. Cheese. Can I have lunch now? Yeah, I'm start. I cannot believe what I see walking toward me. What? What? That incredibly good-looking man. Don't look. You are uh, from New York? Me? New York, yes. <laughs> I'm from New York. New York's a great place. Have you ever been to New York? Oh, Miss Scusi, my, uh, my English is not well. <laughs> my name is uh, Flavio Cassini. I am the, uh, how do you say, uh, the captain, or uh, the boss of the porters on the train. <laughs> I am so happy that you are with us. If I can make you happy somehow, you tell me. See? Okay. I see you. Ciao. Ciao. All right? Gorgeous. The man is gorgeous. Oh, one would think you just met Mr. Wright. I'm not looking for Mr. Wright. I'm looking for Mr. Wright now. <laughs> Susan, you are wonderful. Now we just have to convince him of that. This is from Captain Cassini with his best wishes. You do, of course, know what they say. Beware of men bearing gifts. <laughs> are you kidding? I can't remember the last time a man gave me a gift. Maybe my luck is changing. Thank you. And, and would you thank um, Captain Cassini for us? Certainly, madam. Here's to our new job and our old friendship. And to Captain Cassini. Cheers. Trains just make me melancholy. Well, you're the one that wanted to take a train. Did you miss Robert? Mm, now and then. I'll be seeing him soon enough. Is he meeting you in Paris? No, I'm seeing him in London. Well, have you decided whether you're going to marry him or not? Well, he's brought it up a couple of times, but I haven't said yes and I haven't said no. He'll probably want an answer when I get to London. And? And, I don't know, I haven't decided. You don't sound overly excited. Well, it'll be nice. It's always nice to see Robert. Nice isn't sexy. Sometimes it is. Not often. How do you know? I used to date nice guys. Ah, and now? Bad boys. <laughs> I think that's a slight exaggeration. You're right. <laughs> no boys is more like it. <laughs> oh. My name's Alex. Uh, what, what are you reading? Uh, the Magic Mountain. Oh, a little light reading on your vacation. <laughs> well, it is a little heavy, but I'm enjoying it. You must be an English major. Why must I be an English major? But who else would be reading The Magic Mountain on a train journey in front? Okay, a comparative literature major. My name's Lily. Sandy, meet Lily, the comparative literature major. Hello, Lily. Hi, Sandy. This is my friend Stacy. Hello, Stacy. Hi. <laughs> Do you like some wine? I, I, I'd love some. All right. Excuse me. It's oh! Sunny. They're so bumpy, aren't they? You, you don't mind, do you? No, not at all. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> uh, well, where are you going? Well, we haven't really made any definite plans. We uh, <clears throat> just got on the first train that was heading south because we wanted to see the south of France. Can I come with you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, why not? I'm serious. I'd like to go to the south of France with you. And would that be all right? Yes, that would be all right. Great. I'm jolly glad you said that because I realize that I have a lot to talk to you about and we just wouldn't have enough time unless we go to the south of France together. Mm. Do you do this sort of thing often? I've never done anything like this before in my life. Really. I'm surprising myself. Good. Are you going to have coffee? No, thanks. I'm going to look around for a bit. You want to come with me? No, I don't think so. I think I'll just stay here for a while. Who knows? I might even run into Captain Cathini. <laughs> well, good luck. See you later. Harry, have some more coffee. Are you feeling all right, Harry? Oh, yes. Thank you, Beatrice. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I just get scared sometimes. Yes, I know. I know. So do I. But here we are, having our wonderful time. Nothing that's spoiled. Right? You're absolutely right, as usual. 68, I should be right about these things. You're 69, darling. How do you know? Because I'm 65. Well, you're 66. You were 16 when I asked you to dance at that tea party your mother gave for you. I was 19, and you've been lying about your age ever since. That's not true. You were 20, and you were very skinny and very fresh. I was 19 and the perfect gentleman. What do you mean, fresh? Gentleman, you tried to kiss me when we walked out to see the garden. I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. And I wanted you to kiss me. <laughs> One for lunch, sir. Uh, no, I'm looking for someone. The name of the party, sir? I'll find them. Thank you. Thank you, sir. reading on your vacation. It's a little heavy, but I'm enjoying it. You must be an English major. You're more beautiful than I remember. This train? I've been looking for you. Looking for me? But do you mind if I sit down? Well, actually, I really don't know where to begin. I've been living in London. I didn't know where you were living. There was no listing for you in New York. This isn't a coincidence? No. I picked up a magazine on a plane and your name was there. Your office told me that you'd be on this train. What do you want? I want to tell you what happened. You're a little late. I think it's important for both of us. It's essential for me. How dare you? I won't have this conversation with you. Look, I know it must appear selfish, but if you just give me a chance to explain... A chance? I don't want to hear your story. All right, I should have given you some notice. I'm sorry. I still wouldn't have been interested. It was a long time ago, Alex. There's no point in going over it now. It would mean an awful lot to me if you would just listen to what I have to say. I don't care. Don't, please, please, don't go. We don't know each other anymore, Alex. And I don't want to know you, so leave me alone. Lily, if you would just listen to what I have to say. Look, either you get off this train or I will. I won't let this continue.
S'il vous plaît, monsieur, euh, n'avons pas beaucoup l'argent. Quatre vélos pour le prix d'un seul, on va franchement. Vous êtes tous pareils, vous les touristes. Vous arrivez comme ça, avec votre argent, et vous pensez pouvoir tout acheter, et moins cher que chez vous. Hein. Eh bien, écoutez, écoutez, moi, on ne me la fait pas, vous comprenez. Les mauvais coups, je les sens. Et ça, c'est un mauvais coup. Just asking how much he wants for these bone shavers. Combien, monsieur How, how much, combien, do you, you want for these four, four bikes? Écoutez, monsieur, je vous l'ai déjà dit. C'est mille francs pour les quatre. Mille francs? Oh, Alex, that's too much. Why don't we just meet you in Nice? We can take the train up. No, 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 it'll be fun to all go on bikes. Really? Uh, monsieur, monsieur, je vous prie. Nous n'avons vraiment pas assez d'argent, mon ami et moi. Ces amables monsieur ont offert de nous payer les bicyclettes pour qu'on puisse les rejoindre dans une tournée dans votre beau pays. Mais je ne peux pas les permettre de, de payer si cher. Je comprends que vous avez gagné votre vie. Je vous remercie pour votre temps. Allez, prenez ça. Venez avec moi. Là. Hein? What did she say to him? Something about his beautiful countryside. Ils vont faire une tête, mon copain. Tenez là, vous pouvez les prendre, les vélos. Merci, monsieur. Uh, combien um, How much do we owe you uh, Vous en faites pas. On, on s'est arrangé, nous, avec Lily, hein, pas vrai uh, I'll tell you about it later, Alex. I wish someone would tell me what's going on. I think we've got the bikes and Lily is engaged. Merci, Alain. Merci, Alain. Je donnerai le paquet à votre mère. Je vous le promets. Au revoir, Lily. Bonne chance et bon voyage, hein. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. All right, what did you say to him? <laughs> I'll never tell. Did you learn to speak French like that? My grandmother spoke French. She lived with us all my life until she died. She was my babysitter and my best friend. She taught me. You didn't have to promise yourself to Alain to get the bikes, did you? What if I had? <laughs> I would ride my bike over the nearest cliff! <laughs> I apologize, my friend. It's the first time in weeks a woman's looked at it. First trip to Europe? Mm-hmm. How long have you been traveling? Oh, a month. We started in London and then we went to Rome and now we're just working our way back to London. How much longer do you have? About three weeks or until my money runs out, whichever happens first. <laughs> Let's spend the rest of our vacation together. Just us. What about Sandy and Stacy? Look, you don't have to decide now. I mean, think about it while we're traveling. And we'll all go to Nice together, then we can split up and catch up with them back in Paris. And you and I can travel up to Paris through the countryside. I know some wonderful places. Come on. Say yes. Let's just do it.
close to your father? Well, I'm an only child. His only son. My dad's a very powerful man. Very competitive. He's always in control. I've never seen him show any weakness. Nothing throws him. Actually, he's rather amazing, and I have a lot of respect for him, but I don't really know him. He's a hard man to get to know. Well, maybe you will when you work together. Maybe. Anyway, so what about you? What do you want to be? A writer? Actually, I want to be a great writer. <laughs> and a great lover and a great mother. Not necessarily in that order. That yeah, sounds good to me, whatever order. What else? Hmm. I'd like to live in a big white house, with lace curtains on the windows, with a hammock. Now, isn't that funny? What? I like lace curtains. And I love hammocks. See, we were made for each other. Settled, right? You're gonna go on from here together? This is so strange. I feel like I've known you for such a long time. I feel the same way. We must have known each other in another lifetime. And got separated somehow. And now we've found each other again. in a big white house. And we swam together in a hammock all day long. Are you okay? I'm fine. You just be careful. Would you stop worrying? I know what I'm doing. Bye. Bye bye. Have fun. You too. Well, behave yourself, Alex. Never. I'll see you in Paris. Meet me in Nicole's. If I'm not around, leave a message with Francois behind the bar. All right. See you there. <laughs> bye. bye. If 
If I had a box just for wishes And dreams that had never come true The box would be empty Except for the memory of how They were answered by you But there never seems to be enough time To do the things you want to do Once you find them Alex, please, Lily, can I have a word with you? Go away. Listen, I can't get off the train, neither can you. It doesn't make any stops until the morning. Look, I'm not making this up, Lily. Look, I, I know that I've handled this very badly, and I'm sorry, but we're both stuck on the same train, and I've travelled a great distance to see you. Please, won't you at least have dinner with me? much? Well, I have a few grey hairs. I never thought that would happen. And I can't bicycle as fast as I used to either. Have you been in uh, New York all this time? No, I was in Boston for three years after I graduated. And then I went back to New York. And you're a writer? Yes. So is Sandy. Is he? Mm -hmm. He's written a couple of novels. One of them is about to be made into a film. I bet he likes that. <laughs> yeah. What happened to Stacy? She, um, she married a doctor and they have three daughters. You still keep in touch with her? Uh, no, not really. Our lives went in very different directions. So many times I've imagined how this would feel. Seeing you again. I still feel overwhelmed by it. You don't know anything about me. I'm not the same person. Neither am I. Part of me hates you. I can understand that. Which is uh, all the more reason why you should listen to what I have to say. No. All right, I won't talk about it. Look, have dinner with me anyway. I'd like to know who you are now. I'd like you to know who I am. Come on. How can it hurt? No, <laughs> never mind, don't answer that. Just say yes. I'd be crazy to have dinner with you. I'll come back in a couple of hours and I'll pick you up. Wait, I haven't shh, said that... Shh, shh, shh. Who was that guy? He looks like Clark Gable. He's just someone I knew a long time ago. Yeah, sure, and you just happened to run into each other on the train. Nice try. Uh, will you get off it? He's... I met him when I was traveling in Europe. Mm-hmm, and you just ran into each other on the train. Not exactly. He was looking for me. The magazine told him where I was. Great. What does he want? Absolution. What? He wants to tell me what happened to him. I still don't understand. So, uh, so what are you going to do? I'm going to have dinner with him. Play his little game. Oh. Could this be a revenge? What are you doing here? 
huge plans. A date. Does this have anything to do with Captain Cassini? <laughs> see, see. But I need something to wear. Got anything? A date. That's very nice. Well, I don't know how nice it's going to be. Our communication is a tad limited. Oh, well, somehow I think you'll manage. Let me see, let me see. We're going to need something appropriate for both of us. Got any nun's habits? Oh, afraid not. Here, why don't you wear this? <gasps> are you... Are you kidding? I, I could never wear this. No, you wear this. It looks great on you. Remember you wore it to the book awards? All those men were flocking around you. Really? I don't remember that. Mm, yeah, I was so depressed. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, what kind of look do you want? Uh, <clears throat> something uh, ravishing. Something sophisticated. Something totally unlike me. What about this? Are you serious? Do you want to wear this? This is it. This is me. I have the perfect accessories. This man is going to roll over and die when he sees me in this. Thanks. Ah. See you later. Bye. Did your mother really name you after those? Or is that just a family story? No, it's true. I told you. My mother absolutely loves Lily, so she named me Lily. What's that? Open it. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Let me put it on. That's it. That's it. I don't know why you're laughing. You're in serious trouble. I'm in serious love. That's what I'm in. You're skating on thin ice. It's all going to work out. Love conquers all. And I can hear it cracking. Don't you understand? I'm in love with her and she's in love with me. How can you be so sure? You've only known her for a couple of weeks. Don't you think you should tell her before this gets any worse? I love her! When I'm with her, it feels as if nothing can stop me. I've never seen you like this, Alex. It's quite shocking. And for God's sake, think about your family. And think about your father. I'm going to talk to him. I shall make him understand. He'll never understand.
Are you ready? Yes. The train journey is with you. You look wonderful. I knew this was a bad idea. No, 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 no. I'll behave. Are you married? No, divorced. And you? I'm divorced too. Do you have any children? No. And you? Yes, I have a daughter. Do you have a picture of her? No. It's a pity. How old is she? Uh, she's three. She just turned three. She must be fun. She's incredible. I can't imagine what my life would be like without her. I would imagine you're a very good mother. Well, it was sort of trial by fire. I didn't know anything about being a mother when I had her. Do you like your job? Yes, very much. You're good. That uh, interview I read was fascinating. You did it very well. Flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> there was a time when you said it would get me everywhere. And I was very young and silly. Look, I know I said that I wouldn't talk about the past. But I do have something to tell you. I owe you an explanation. It doesn't matter anymore what happened. May I take your orders for dinner now, sir? I'll have the lobster, please. Yes. Would you excuse me for a moment? What do you think? It's great. Who are you writing to? I was thinking of writing to my father. You gonna tell him about me? Yes. Ta-da! Lily, what is it? What happened? I just want to get off this train. Come on, tell me what's wrong. Aren't you having dinner with that guy? Yes. It didn't work out the way you planned? What, what happened between you two? Ten years ago, we were in Paris together. We were very much in love. And one night, he went to have a drink with a friend of his father's. And I never saw him again until today. Oh, that's awful. What, what does he want now? He wants to explain. Oh, God, I thought I could handle this, but I don't know. He really scares me. Lily, what's to be afraid of? I never felt the way I felt about him with anybody else in my life. It just terrifies me to be close to him. It took me such a long time to get over it. Uh, Lily, I'm sorry, you go ahead. This isn't easy for me, but I said I'd have dinner with you, so let's try it again, all right? Look, the last thing that I want to do is to make you feel uncomfortable. I know this is strange. I mean, it's awkward for both of us. Are you sure you're all right? 
Yes. Okay. So what would you like to know about this stranger you're having dinner with? Do you still work in your father's firm? No, he's dead. It's a heart attack. I left the firm, what, eight years ago? The year he died, in fact. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it wasn't totally unexpected. I mean, he'd had a bad heart for a number of years. Why did you leave the business? I didn't enjoy the work. I mean, the only reason I was there was because of my father. And I suppose in some ways, uh, I'm glad I gave it a try when he was alive, but it certainly wasn't what I wanted to be doing. So, when he died, it was time to go. It took me a long time to find myself, as they say. See, I was expected to go into the family business ever since I was old enough to talk. So I never really thought about doing anything else. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Do you remember that first bike ride we made from that little town in France? Mm-hmm. I'll never forget how impressed we all were with the way you bargained for those bikes. It was a great trip. How long were you married? Um, five years. How long were you married? <laughs> the same. Happily? No, not really. We should never have gone married. You knew from the beginning it was wrong? I was in love with someone else. So it never really stood a chance. Did she love you? In the beginning. What about you? What happened to your marriage, I mean? He thought I didn't love him enough, and I thought he loved me too much. It's always the way, isn't it? One person always seems to love the other one more. Except with us. Except with us. to remember. It's important. All right. We were having dinner with Sandy and Stacy, and they went dancing. And I said, let's stay and have a drink. Hmm. I need to talk to you about something. Uh-oh, this sounds serious. It is serious. What is it? Alex, come on, what is it? Can't be all that bad. I have to tell you something, and it's, uh, it's difficult. Well, just tell me. I think we should take a break from each other. Spend some time apart. Why? Because I need some time by myself. I have some things to figure out. I don't understand. Why didn't you tell me this before? And I'm telling you now. What do you mean you're telling me now? When did you start to feel like this? At dinner? After we made love? When? Listen, Lily, there's no point in talking about it like this. I just need some time alone. Alex, we only have a week left. I have to go back to the States. What did I do? What did I do to make you feel like this? Please don't go, Lily. Let's talk some more. Lily! Lily, wait, please. Please. I love you. Please don't go. I love you. Are you sure? I am very sure. I didn't mean a word of what I just said. I didn't mean it. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Oh, well.
I couldn't tell you the truth. I couldn't get the words out. And what was the truth? That I was engaged to be married. She was the daughter of my father's closest friend and business associate. And I went to him that night to tell him that I was in love with you and that the wedding to Anne was off. Oh, there you are, Alex. You're very late, aren't you? Well, let's have a look at you. Come on, sit down. Let's have something to eat. It is good to see you again after all this long time. It's good to see you too. How's Mum? Oh, she's very well. Wildly excited, of course, about the wedding. She's due first thing tomorrow morning with your aunt. And the Trowbridges are arriving late tomorrow afternoon, I understand. Uh, have you spoken to Anne yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Not for a few weeks, now. Well, she'll be here tomorrow, won't she? And then you'll have the rest of your lives together, won't you? Is something the matter, Alex? You seem a bit off colour. How can I make you understand what it was like for me then? I was 22. And I thought that nothing was irrevocable. And what about us? What about the way we felt about each other? I didn't know then. The love. The passion that I felt for you. It was unlike anything that I was ever going to experience again in my life. I didn't know at 22 that I would never again love anybody as much as I loved you. I didn't know that. I made a terrible mistake and I've regretted it ever since. I know now that when I was with you that was the happiest that I've ever been. That's why I'm here. I wanted you to know that. I thought that I owed you that much. Oh, it's getting late. I'll see you back to your cabin. Yes. Wondering if you ever thought of me.
You're terrible. Come on. No. <laughs> Let's meet at Nicole's at nine. I'll be there. Pardon, monsieur, quelle heure est-il Il est 11 heures, madame. Merci. You all right? I'm fine. Come here. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? Nothing. I just wondered where you'd gone to, that's all. We shouldn't have spent the night together last night. It was wrong. What do you mean it was wrong? How could it have been wrong? You can't mean that. It's wonderful. It wasn't all that great. We spent the night on the train together, just like any two strangers. We are not strangers. Now, you may wish that, but it's not true. I'm not going to go through this with you again. I've been there. I know what you can do to me, and I won't let it happen. I hate you. What do you think I've been doing for the last ten years, waiting for you to come and find me? Of course I haven't. What are you talking about? I think I've made myself very clear. Stop this! Now, you're not being fair to either one of us. Now, talk to me. Tell me what's wrong. What is bothering you? I don't have to explain anything to you, and I don't care if you don't understand. Don't, don't do this. Talk to me. You nearly destroyed my life, and I don't want to have anything to do with you. Now, get out. Lily, this Go. is just... Go! I asked you to leave. talk to you. No, not over the phone. No, I'll, I'll come home. I'll take the morning shuttle, okay? Can you pick me up? Okay, thanks, Mom. 
I really don't. Uh, it's, it's okay. I, I understand. I, I have to go now to, to work. You know? Promise we'll see each other in Paris? See, si, if you like. Ciao. Ciao. I'm in trouble, Lil. Big trouble. What kind of trouble? I'm smitten. Severely smitten. I wonder how you say that in Italian. Ah, you had a good time. I'm telling you. We have to talk, Lily. Don't go, Susan. Susan and I are having breakfast, Alex. We don't have anything else to say to each other, so please. I'm not leaving till I've said what I have to say. Oh. I'll just move to another table. I don't mind, really. You're making this very unpleasant. I didn't want it this way. I don't know how to reach you. I knew what you were feeling last night. I could feel it, so could you. So why are you pushing me away like this? What is it? You misread me. I'm married. I've been married for six years. I don't believe you. My husband and my daughter are meeting me in Paris. We're vacationing together. Now will you leave me alone? Why didn't you tell me this before? Do you think it would have prevented us from sleeping together? Hmm? Huh? Why did you make love with me? Why? I didn't give it much thought. Now do this. Stop it. I told you to leave me alone. Now get away from me. Right, you look me in the eye and you tell me that what happened between us last night meant nothing to you. It meant nothing. I felt nothing. Don't let us lose each other again. Please. We lost each other years ago, Alex.
Are you all right? I will be. Um, this is the place we stop for supplies. I'm going to get off and get some things. Can I get you anything? No, thanks. A, a magazine? Maybe they have the New York Times. I I'll get that for you, okay? Sure. See you in a minute. I'd like to apologize for this morning. Oh, forget it. Are you getting off the train here? I'm afraid so. How are you going to get to Paris? Um, I'll rent a car. It's that new shirt. All aboard! All aboard! I better go. I just don't know. You think this is the right size? Would this fit a nine-year-old? It'll have to do. Anyway, nice meeting you. So long. Uh, uh, wait, please. What nine-year-old? Come along, please, miss. The train is about to leave. What? I can't hear you. What, what, what nine-year-old are you talking about? Alexandra, Lily's daughter. It's a gift for her. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi. Oh, pardon. Oui, monsieur. Parlez-vous anglais? English? Oui, monsieur. Un tout petit peu. One little bit. Could I have a ticket for the next train to Paris, please? Of course. Combien? Voilà. One ticket for the train to Paris. On Friday. Friday, but I want to go today. Aujourd'hui? Oh, no, monsieur. No. no, this is not possible. I am so sorry. I cannot believe this. Is there anywhere around here that I can rent a car? Une voiture? Vous voulez rire, monsieur? No, no, no. no. But uh, perhaps if you go to Dijon. Dijon, but that's absurd. Oh, monsieur, I, I, I am sorry. I am sorry. Yes, well, it's not your fault. Uh, thank you.
Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, je cherche une voiture. Uh, I would like to buy that car. Cette voiture Ah oui. Combien What's wrong? You look awful. Okay, let's have it. What's going on? I'm never gonna have a relationship that works. What are you talking about? That's the bleakest thing I've ever heard. It's I ridiculous. can't love anybody. I don't know how. Lily, that's not true. You love somebody. Alex was the first man I ever loved. I never thought about it ending. When he left, I lost myself. Lily, you're not lost. You're one of the strongest women I know. I know I'm strong. That's not what I'm talking about. Since Alex had been involved with men that couldn't hurt me, if I didn't love them, how could they? Lily, you have looks I would die for. You have a great job. You have a fabulous daughter. I you're didn't so tell lucky. him. Tell him what? He has a daughter. Lex is his daughter. She's what? And, and he doesn't know? I told him that I was going to meet my, my husband and my daughter in Paris and, and that I didn't want to see him again. And that he didn't mean anything to me. Did you mean that? Yes. Yes. I'm gonna meet Robert in London, and, and I'm gonna marry him. Hear of it. I can't believe it. I've fallen in love with someone else and I can't marry Anne. I won't hear of it. It's not possible. It's absolute nonsense. I'm not in love with Anne. I'm in love with someone else. I love her very much, probably more than I've loved anyone, and I can't marry Anne. I suppose this other person is someone you met while you were traveling. Her name is Lily. She's an American, and yes, I met her on a train. Oh, how very lucky for you, Alex. To meet a pretty girl on a train. But there's no earthly need to get worked up about it, is there? It's not the way I feel. You surprise me, Alex. I thought you were a grown man by now. I do wish you'd try and understand. There's something I don't think you understand, Alex. Sit down, will you? Something I have to tell you. I suppose you were too much preoccupied with your own silly little affairs to give a thought to what was happening in the business here. Of course I haven't forgotten. I don't see what that's got to do with anything. You know I started to work with Anne's father on this Active Industries merger before you went away. Well, because he was the principal shareholder, I naturally negotiated with him on behalf of our company. But we haven't been able to reach a final agreement yet, and now something has gone seriously wrong. Our company, your company, Alex, is in desperate trouble. This merger can save our bacon. It can stop the firm from closing down. Do you understand? Alex, look at me. Don't you see how vitally important it is now that you should marry Anne? You have an obligation to your family. If you don't fulfill that obligation, you'll be jeopardizing the whole future for a great many people who love you and whom you love. I don't see that you have any choice. I don't love Anne. I love Lily. You'll get over this, Alex. Such things are bound to happen sometimes. But they don't last, you know. Look, I hate to admit this, Alex, but... 
I must make this demand of you. I need you so badly, Alex, to do this for my sake. Please say you will. New York, make sure Lexa got on the plane all right. Okay, okay. I'll see you later, right? Yes, yes, I see you. Do you have the address? Yes, I have it. I see you soon. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Okay, just checking. Ciao. 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 Bye, Flavio. Thank you. Here you are. in Paris? I bet that's something famous. Isn't that fabulous? Whatever it is. Lily, don't do something you'll regret. Find him. I'm going to marry Robert. just got in this evening. Yes, we had a wonderful time. The train's beautiful. Oh, I'll be picking up Alexia in the morning, and then what I thought we'd do is, uh, I thought we'd do a little sightseeing and then take the night flight to London. Yes, it's all arranged. I miss you too, sweetheart. And I have something to tell you. No, no, it's good news. Yes. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow night then, all right? Right. Bye-bye.
TWA flight 800 from New York. Now Do you remember me? Oh, yes, of course. I'm looking for Miss Parker and her friend. Do you know where they are? Oh, they are at the hotel. The address is uh, 25 Rue Saint-Jean. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Monsieur. Oui, monsieur. And may I help you? I'd like to see Miss Parker, please. Lily Parker. She's traveling with another woman, um, Susan. I don't know her last name. Oh, yes. Uh, the photographer. Was they checked out about an hour ago. Checked out? Well, where did they go to? To another hotel? I don't know where they went, monsieur. They must have left a forwarding address or something. They were only here for a night. Why should they leave a forwarding address? Yes, I suppose you're right. Uh, thank you. Monsieur. There was some talk about sightseeing. They took him out. Where? Monsieur. thought it was better to just leave it as a nice brief affair. Why? Because there's no future in it. He's Italian and lives in Rome. I'm American. I live in New York. I finally meet somebody and geography kills it. Come on. Uh, you come on. Do you love him? Maybe. Probably. Yes. <laughs> well, you work it out.
What you think, Lexa? I want to live here. Oh, you do. If uh, if I move to Rome, would you two come and visit me? Yes, and I'd learn how to speak Italian. What's wrong with him moving to New York? He just got a promotion. Who are you talking about? Oh, a friend of Susan's that she met on the train. <laughs> Did you meet anyone on the train, Mom? Yes. Yes, I met a very nice man. Take a little of your own advice and go find him. I'm gonna marry Robert. I've made up my mind. Now, can we please stop talking about this? Okay. I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were someone else. My feet are killing me. You should wear sneakers. You're right. Don't ever start wearing sneakers, even when you start thinking men will like you better in heels, OK? No way. Do you think men like us better in heels, or do you think we like us better in heels? I'm too tired to answer such a complex question. Let's go get some ice cream. Great idea. Ice cream always makes my feet <laughs> feel better. There's a place. It, Lexa. There's this man across the street. He's just standing there staring at me. Well, don't look at him. 